Hello team, my name is Mahesh. Uh, so in, in this video, we are looking into the Ansible roles. So in, in the uh, as we have created the last two parts before in the Ansible itself. So this is the third. Uh, this is a continuation of that particularly series. And we, in this particular video itself, we are looking into the Ansible roles. So we'll cover the in-depth topics of the Ansible. What is the an Ansible structure? What is how we can use the Ansible and how we can utilize the commands of the Ansible? What are the task variables, handlers, and many more things using the standard template that, that I have and uh, also we are covering the live practicals in this particular session. So make sure you watch till the end and if you if you are if you haven't seen those two videos before so make sure you uh, watch those uh, two things before you uh, you looking into this video because this is more into uh, this is more into a technical talk and the, the practical say practical thing we are looking into the practical uh, the we also do some practicals to install some uh, install some applications and all it will it might become a little complicated side so let's look what is the ansible role and how we can use them also we are also we are covering the uh, also we are covering the basic stru basic structure of the ansible itself how we what is the like in the layman's language i am also uh, look, i am also explaining the little uh, little about the structure how the structure works in uh, in uh, previous videos i haven't explained uh, the which is not very much clear to explain those things but in this video i will uh, definitely ex explain uh, all those things and the structure of the pipe uh, structure of the yaml yaml syntax and all so the ansible the ansible role is used to uh, minimize the complexity of the multiple playbooks such as we have we are uh, suppose as our application grows we need to manage the we need to manage multiple uh multiple files for the each uh for the each uh task that we need to do such as uh, or we we also or, or in previously before uh ansible role is not introduced we are used to create uh, create a one single file that inside the single file all the all the uh, plays are running such as we also installing the dependencies on the same play, on the same playbook we also installing the um, installing and copying the templates inside the uh, in with with the same uh, template itself we are also doing some uh, pre uh, pre task or the post task of the application also we are deploying the like suppose we are deploying the application on the same yaml playbook itself we are uh, like creating the aws resources using the same uh, ansible playbook so with that uh, with that uh, day by day it becomes quite uh, like quite complex to understand those play that those playbooks suppose uh, if someone uh, newbie or the beginner came uh, looking into that ansible playbook that that uh, that user might it look uh, it looks might uh, complicated to see it might look overwhelming to see the 200 lines playbook so in that case uh, to manage to uh, reduce to reduce the size of the playbook and improve the uh, efficiency of the reading or uh, to improve the reusability of the playbook so in that case we uh, use the ansible playbook so basically as 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 uh, as here mentioned managing the large playbook can be a challenging especially updating the specific parameters and the or maintaining the readability as i have said so if you need to uh, uh, like configure specific parameter according to your need so in that case you uh, you need to uh, look into uh, look into multiple lines and you need to do find out you need to run uh, you need to do crap you need to use find to find out the specific line or find out the specific task that you have mentioned but uh, in the ansible rules it it can be very much very much simple to do that because it it follows a like specific uh, specific structure inside the ansible role so in in a later point of time we'll look into that ansible role simplifies the breaking down the playbook into much uh, smaller parts and reusable components such as tasks variables uh, handlers templates and stored stru structures directories metas and all those things we'll look into all those things in the into the in depth and we'll also utilizing those things in the modular approach we only enhances the readability also for the better organize it will be easier to update easier to do the updates it will easier to making the roles ideal to share with the share with the others such as the ansible has uh, ansible 
such as if we like if you can uh, compare with the like if you if you can see uh, ansible has a separate kind of thing so in in here itself you can you can find out multiple things such as so this is a marketplace for the ansible galaxy inside this particular uh, marketplace galaxy marketplace uh, this basically called as a galaxy so in, in this particular in, in this particular galaxy you will find out the uh, entire uh, like the publicly created repositories that are already created and le by leveraging these repositories you can quickly install the uh, you can quickly utilize the roles uh, in your uh, or in your uh, environment only so so let's look into basic structure now so in the basic structure uh, uh, is, the yaml uh, is idle corner in the nature so if you if you run the same playbook again and again in the same uh, with targeting the same host it will not changing the uh, it will not it will not making it make the change again and again uh, in the uh, particularly host uh, in the client machine in the uh, client machine itself so ansible follows a specific structure uh, if you, if you are uh, created in specific structure in that case the ansible will not not throw any error and so uh, for that you can also use the uh, uh, yaml lint yaml lint is website to check out the ansible uh, like specific structure so ansible is a uh, valid ansible structure is valid or not with that with that particular yaml lint you can find out that so it has ansible structure has uh, several components such as the name it will describe whatever you name you can describe uh, what is this playbook what is the, all the what, what is inside this playbook and all inside the host parameter uh, is, it is a host parameter that you have targeting in the if you can link uh, if you can look my host file so it is see uh, ansible host uh, host file so i am targeting this specific client such as uh, this ip it be, belongs to the particularly this ansible client so in that client i am using the ansible uh, user as a ubuntu and ansible uh, private key as this particular private key because uh, aws doesn't support the passwordless authentication and the host key checking which is the we'll look into later part so this is all grouping into uh, all uh, groups such as the group name is all so if i if i uh, want to target my specific all group so in the host parameter i need to place the all so it will reference the inventory file from there itself so become is meant to uh, meant to be uh, your uh, your big your uh, temporary getting the pseudo user access or your temporary getting the root level privilege privilege to run this pipeline sometimes become user root uh, which user uh, remote user you are using uh, or the uh, to escalate your permissions which user you are using and inside task you have multiple tasks such as inside the task it will also uh, such as in the ansible itself we have multi you don't have any curly braces or all those things so in that case you need to if you can see there is a space in, uh, in space in between in the task itself so the name after one type the, there is a name for the particular play and the yum model is you yum model is used uh, as you can uh, as you know there are multiple modules in the ansible as you can as i have uh, told in the previous lectures so with that i am installing the apache package which is the latest version and the another tag so this particularly single dash meant to be this is one single play another dash means it is a, it is considered as another play such as i need to en enable the service this is considered as another play and this full playbook is defined as uh, defined in the single single dash which is the, which defines all it is a single playbook so once the uh, like this uh we can say a mandatory thing to do uh what is the meaning of the, the those three dashes so it is basically uh we, it is basically just like you have uh assigned the shebang in the while writing the uh like the bash uh play bash uh, script file so in the yaml itself yaml uh yaml requires those three dashes to i consider as this is a this is a yaml playbook so this is the overall structure about the yaml and let's look what is the <laughs> structure of the ansible if you can uh, if you can see uh, okay so if you can see there is a multiple folders that are already by default created inside the yaml uh, inside the rules folder 
so what are the what are the rose folder and what are the things we can look into uh, look uh, in look into that so yaml for yaml follows specific syntax uh, yaml follows specific structure such as uh, in the rules section we have multiple rules such as default multiple folders inside that such as uh, the such as we have a uh, root directory called role name it, it can be anything such as for the initialize of for to initialize a role in the ansible itself what you can do uh, i'm just changing my directory so inside this particular directory which i am right now uh, so i can do f, f, w, f pwd to check the present present working directory and i am currently in the ansible server uh, server itself so i have uh, created those two instances instances over here and the aws environment and i am using the ansible server and the client from here itself so to initialize a new uh, ansible role itself uh, role is basically a structure uh, of multiple folders inside that and with the structure you can uh, utilize that structure to modularize your playbook and you can utilize multi you utilize the selected uh, selected roles or the selected uh, particularly files throughout that you can uh, basically create form your uh, main playbook so to initialize your first playbook what you can do ansible galaxy ansible hyphen galaxy hyphen uh, ansible galaxy role in it and the role name uh, role name is a uh, apache you can say so as you can see i have run this command ansible role and the and ansible galaxy role in it and the apache so it will initialize my uh, initial initialize a new role called apache so uh, basically i am uh, as we have uh, seen in previous videos we this is the third command we are learning such as previously we have learned the ad hoc commands uh, ansible ad hoc commands after that we have learned the ansible playbook commands and now we are looking into the ansible galaxy commands so ansible galaxy is used to create the role now let's look uh, the folder structure is already created over here so let's look inside this what are the folders are that are created such as the defaults uh, there are a lot of folders that are created let me use the tree to okay the tree is not installed let install a tree if you can see uh, this thing right now so in the default section the default values are stored suppose you need to uh, uh, you need to the readme.md uh, let's look at the, for the readme.md readme.md is used to uh, like explain about your playbook what are the what are the things it will do what is the uh, specific purpose it is built on basically it is for your information to keep the information in the readme.md file so in the default section uh, you can see uh, you can uh, place the default values that are used by the application or that are we can say the default variables that are uh, that are pulled by the uh, your main playbook or the while running some uh, running some task or running some particular files for that you use the default section for the proper definition uh, the uh, def the default section is a lower priority priority variable for the roles uh, yeah so the files which are used to store the files such as it could be uh, like configuration files that you need to copy on the client machine or it will it could be uh, suppose we are configuring the apache server so it could be a uh, uh, apache ywwhtml content inside those that contains stored on the file section handlers <clears throat> for the task sections tasks are basically the task that you have that we have seen uh, let me show it to you so task section that are basically those sections are uh, those specific sections up ensure the apache's latest version ensure the apache is running so those are individual tasks on the those tasks are pre uh, main, mainly present over there so those those folders are dedicated for the task itself only for the test itself <coughs> there is for for that some testing activities or for the definition itself let me uh, explain about that you know uh, like much convenient way so so the ta so the task can be include smaller files if if wanted so the task section is mandatory kind of so if you need to run some uh, like particularly tasked to install the apache to install some other dependencies to config to uh, initialize some commands to initialize some uh, other uh, initialize some 
we can say to run some specific commands on the client machine so all those basic basic things are smaller smaller tasks that are running inside the uh, we can say on the application itself so so the, the, the that is the main thing of the task so so yeah so the test section is used to uh, let me show it to you yeah the test section is used to contain contain the te test uh, sections that are require when you are when you are uh, suppose we when you completed your playbook with all the tasks are running on the end machine to verify those things are actually run on the machine to do uh, to get the clarification uh, to uh, like to get the get the output from those machines or get the uh, desired uh, changes on the machine so for to for to uh, like to for to collect those information or uh, to get those information we use we use the uh, test section with the test sections we can test the application is running or to check the like uh, all those files are stored in inside the uh, HTML folder correctly and all or and all those things are present present is for that will require some um, uh, we will require some additional parameters and throughout those parameters you can check that so inside the var section uh, you have variables that are used by the applications such as uh, I'll, we can see later on inside the templates uh, templates are basically the jinja 2 templating uh, it is and uh, it is the dynamic dynamic type of inventory uh, that are used to uh, like that are used to uh, collect the information from the uh, like while running the playbook and it will it will store those things in the dynamically in the templates templates folder it is stored on the uh, j2 uh, tem templates dot j2 jinja 2 templating that usually calls so handlers are basically suppose you are uh, running the particular uh, action repeatedly Suppose you have uh, do them do some changes inside the HTML file, and you have checked the you need to to verify uh, those those things inside inside your uh, application it, itself. So for that you need to uh, check out somewhere, right? So to reduce this activity or the re reduce this particularly code. So inside this, but you always you need to mention the service, the HTTP name, and the the desired state you want to be. Such as it will be restarted, to restarted, disabled, enabled, whatever it is. So for that, you can place place this thing place this thing inside the uh, we can say handler itself, and you can call the handler every time. So you don't need to uh, using the notify function. There is a we can see later part in this video. So with the notify, you can use the use the handlers to restart a particular service or do whatever action you want to be. So basically for to use the uh, use the uh, ansible rules inside of playbooks there is a specific section for the wars to store the variables uh, to, uh, to to fed the variables to the our application or particularly main dot main dot yaml playbook that in that section we use the wars and we can provide a particular variable file inside the task section uh, you can see the include rules previously we have seen the modules and all or the command module so in this particular section, in this uh, very in this uh, can say playbook itself, we are looking into include roles. So what include roles do? It will find out this particular file, and it will uh, it will run those uh, run the specific tasks that are mentioned in that playbook itself. So let me quickly build this playbook, uh, build this uh, uh, role itself, and I'll get back. So I have I have created the playbooks uh, that we have that we will require to run the Apache server on the client machine itself. So for to uh, reduce the size of the uh, to reduce the time, so I have created the quickly fast fast forward the process if you want. So on the specific main dot uh, inside the inside the task section as we have, as I have told, I am um, I am. Uh, basically uh, creating uh, creating a like uh, as i have said i have created the same folder folder hierarchy structure that uh, we will require to run the application so inside the wire section uh, let me go from the first inside the default section the i have not placed all those things such as host and all those things are required by the uh, to uh, do this thing such as name the host and connection the gather facts or the remote user or the become all those things are i have not mentioned 
So to reduce the complexity, I have just mentioned all those things in the main.yaml. So I can pre present inside the main.yaml and I, I just call the overall role. So this is the Apache role. I am just calling the whole role uh, to, to, to get, the, get in the action. So it will, uh, to, if suppose application required this particular variable, it will automatically take the port 80. So before, before that, I need to mention it somewhere. So inside the file section, uh, it will, you can store the HTML files or the CSS or the JavaScript files that you, that your application require. Inside the handlers, uh, this is the particular handler that I'm to, uh, uh, telling you about. So uh, suppose you need to restart Apache continuously, like every 10 seconds or when the playbook, playbook is completed, you need to, uh, after that, you need to restart the Apache service. So in that case, you can just do restart Apache. You can mention all those things over here. And I just place the become become is true. So suppose Apache 2 requires the uh, pseudo level access or the, it needs to be, uh, uh, it need per, uh, additional permission to restart the service. So it can do by the, uh, it, it, it can able to do. So I have just mentioned the name, service name as Apache 2 and service will be restarted in the state. So meta is a uh, the dependency you can place that uh, metadata is basically uh, required by the application and you can place the metadata information over the meta folder. Inside the task section, if you can see, I just mentioned the task. So if you can see the larger version of the playbook. So uh, so I will not uh, add it to play playbook. Okay, so let me open some playbook. Um, let's let's take the this example and if you can go in the playbook section so this is the check new version and if you can see all it has mentioned the name the host the task the individual task after that it it also mentioned some uh, like <laughs> yeah it, it it doesn't have mentioned the like post task or pre task but it's okay so inside the task section this from this only this is the first task uh, this is the second task with the with the single hyphen you can denote the particular task separated by the multiple uh, like if you can if you can see under the task under the task sections you can see multiple dashes those dashes are, are, are meant to be a multiple uh, tasks that are running on under a single uh, task section so in 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 our case to uh, do the things modular you can use you can separate all those tasks such as to update the cache of the apache install apache 2 and apache service to enable service so so because of which we have enabled uh, we have mentioned those three tasks that we need to perform inside the template section uh, it is a ginger 2 templating so i uh, uh, misplaced the info, uh, misplaced the name it needs to be j2 uh, in the in the the extension should be j2 not the yaml i'll just explain why and the variable uh, the apache package which uh, require it which is the apache 2 so if you can see on the main dot uh, if you can see on the task section uh, this playbook itself so so if you can see uh, in this particularly part itself we can always uh, we can also leverage the wars that are present inside the yaml uh, Oh, yeah or bars folder such such thing uh in, say inside this particular section uh, we inside this particular folder we also do that so inside the vim main.yaml we need to do some config additional configuration such as the host is all we have mentioned all the host all the web servers um uh, yeah so uh, that is our requirement let's run the ansible playbook so we use the same command ansible playbook hyphen i uh, let me uh, call my inventory post.yaml the, the group is all and my playbook.yaml main.yaml it's okay the playbook could not be found okay the playbook name all could not be found okay not mentioned no issue yeah so it it check out the it is uh it is gathered there is one um uh, and there is one task and the server is reachable so it is installing the, it is updating the cache of the server to, it will now be installing the apache uh, package it is it will take a little bit time to install the package yeah it has it has changed there is no failed action that is performed and we can we can successfully able to access our application if if everything is work, working correctly we can able to access the default application by the uh, 
server itself. So let's check now. Okay, this is um, I'm putting the private IP over there, but it is the public IP, and you can able to access the uh, default uh, default Apache uh, Apache uh, default page without I'm without doing anything. So that's how you can run the uh, you can utilize the roles to do those things. But for that, we you need to uh, get more uh, things clear, and by for that you can leverage the additional document that are uh, created by the ansible community itself which is the ansible we can, we can just type the ansible roles folder structure and you can get into this particular page and you can get the overall idea about it such as uh, to import task particularly task uh, such as you are in the particular folder suppose let's take example so so i am in the particularly apache folder itself so i need to uh, before that what i need to do so i need to import some task such as uh, let's suppose import underscore task so for that what i can do uh, suppose i need to run the meta i don't know why 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 should i do that but uh, let's suppose let's take any uh, example correct example suppose i need to run this particularly uh, task itself so so inside the task folder task task slash main dot yaml so throughout that i can run the specific uh, after i run i uh, run the overall playbook in the last i can import imported the task with this particularly uh, main.yaml itself i can run the i can run the playbook uh, run this particularly playbook at the end so if you need to run the specific playbook you can do that suppose uh, let's let's look uh, over here it has used the when suppose the ansible family os family is red hat so what it can do it will use this ansible uh, red hat.yaml playbook suppose the ansible uh, suppose the os family is a debian so it will use the debian it has it has it has done the conditioning so and in, inside the red hat yaml file you can see the http package and inside the debian which is the apache 2 so suppose the uh, like the voice family is a debian you can uh, you can use the task from to apt.yaml so it's like such as to select the particularly particular uh, files you can use the import tasks in the in the play in the main.yaml itself uh, which is present inside your role folder or you can to run to, to run overall role you can use the roles function a uh, roles uh, variable to run the overall role so this is all over the rules and uh, this is quite simple topic in in the nature but uh, uh, like you need to uh, be aware of that uh, you need to manage multiple things uh, multiple folders you need to be segregated but in the longer term you'll uh, in the in the larger environment or the larger playbook it will be quite simple to uh, reduce the complexity and all so that's it for today